Me, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go through this door <laughs> that I totally did not go through in the last part, and start this room. Ooh, that looks very dangerous. I'm gonna take care of these before I do anything here. Kind of irritating, but otherwise pretty easy. I, I think I have to roll to get underneath that thing safely, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going. No, no, don't pick. <laughs> don't pick up the skull. I want to press the A button to roll. <laughs> that's like the worst possible thing that could have happened there. Maybe that's how they get you. They want you to pick up the skulls and essentially damage you, damage yourself as a result as you attempt to roll under it. Now I'm just gonna try it. Yeah, that works perfectly. All right. I don't trust that. <laughs> I want to get, you know, divide and conquer one at a time rather than have them attacking me all at the same time. Um, oh, broke a shield. And bombs. Boop. Bye bye. <laughs> Is it possible to destroy that corpse over there before it spawns with a bomb? That would be really nice. I don't think so. Ah! Uh. <laughs> too bad. It spawned because I was a little too close. Break that shield off. It's a lot stronger with the shield, but once that shield is gone, it just has no defenses whatsoever. All right, boom. That one's gone. Now, what else is in this room waiting for me? Hmm. What? Hmm. You're here. I'm gonna lead you to a larger patch of land. There we go. Much safer. Wait, you have a you have a metal shield. That's not fair. <laughs> I'm the only one that's supposed to have a metal shield. Boop. All right. Can I climb up here? Yes, I can. Do I want to climb up here? That's a bigger question. Oh! That opens that door. I'm getting really close to the dungeon item, I know that for sure. Then again, I thought I was close to the dungeon item in the last part when I was in that vertical shaft. Alright, hop! Oh jeez! Oh jeez, and there, these critters are here too! Get over! No! Help! Let me up! See! There we go! Spin! <laughs> okay, maybe they're posing a bit of a problem, though. That was much, much better position of those critters than uh, in other areas. Hmm. Um. I guess that door. From the looks of it, I'll be inside an arena, which will probably be a battle of sorts to get the dungeon item? Mm, maybe? There's a dramatic transition into this room, so I assume so. Ooh. Looks like that sword is sealed off. Um. Oh, I'm supposed to sense with Wolf Link, I, I just remembered. Or maybe not. Was I... Am I supposed to burn the seals? Why do I remember I have to be Wolf Link in this room? Oh no, not that. <laughs> I want to try... Burning... No. Okay. What am I missing in this room? <laughs> There's this route here, which is blocked off, I noticed. Oh! I just have to cut one of the seals, of course! Why didn't I think of that? Oh jeez! And this is what I need Wolf Link for. 
And I forgot the name of this mini boss. It's kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember the name of this at all. That's, or maybe it's. Wow. Maybe it's just another kind of Poe? Hmm, I don't remember its name. That's. It's gonna bug me until I look it up, and I'm gonna probably, probably get put it in a text box or something like that. Maybe it's another version of Phantom Ganon. <laughs> like, what happens if I were to deflect those things back at it? Nah, that doesn't work. <laughs> I Z target you. Oops. Want to do that to see just if I can. Hmm, well, I bugged it. No, oh, whatever. <laughs> I suppose that works. So, if I were to once again hit you... That works, right? Uh, that works, why not? <laughs> that works way too well, actually. At least, I think I'm doing damage. Oop. Oop. Too far ahead of myself there. It's okay. This is one creepy mini-boss, I have to say. <laughs> but pretty dang easy. Oh my. <laughs> Maybe it was formed by a bunch of poison mites. Well, now that that's open, I can go get what I am guessing is the dungeon item. And this thing is so much fun to use. <laughs> I can't wait to use it! It's known as the spinner. It looks ridiculous, but it has a lot of potential. You can ride across sand with it, like that quicksand, and tracks like this. So, uh, wow, I've got a lot of items. <laughs> um, what don't I need? I guess I haven't used my bow for quite a while, so... Alright, once equipped, you have this. And you sort of bounce around like a pinball of sorts. you got a little bit of control over it, but what you are aiming for are tracks like this. <laughs> and you can go all the way around the place if you would like to. Well, wherever you see tracks like this. And also, if you press the B button, you can jump off of it and skim across to other sides. Got the hang of it? Good, let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm going to hop off here. And just walk my way across. Now, what you can do with this is get across to places that you couldn't do before. Namely, the last three members in, actually. Oh, I actually feel kind of bad for not knowing the, the, the name of that boss. A text box will fix it, though, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know the names of every single enemy or boss in Zelda existence, of course. That would be kind of ludicrous, although I'm I'm not that, you know, like a super fan or something like that. Oh, I should have used it up there and... Oh, I kind of screwed myself, didn't I? Although, maybe not, because I can just skim across the sand. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> or maybe I was supposed to use it to get up there first, like I'm supposed to... Oh, I can't use the spinner while I'm in the sand first. Okay, I'm fine, fine. No, not that way. Switch the camera around. Go right through the funnel. And there we go. Now you can get up there like that. And that's how you are able to access new stuff. And this is also used in a few later dungeons as well as some side quests. Um, I know how to navigate this room. I just gotta remember where the treasure chests are. Because there's like... There's, there's stuff like behind the tracks... Like, see that one over there? 
So I, I've got to go off the beaten path if I want to get some of the treasure chests thrown here, like that. I see another one coming up there. Man, they're really generous with the water bombs. I'm guessing there's more uh, staff holes coming up here then. I love this thing. <laughs> and I'm going to go all the way up. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculously awesome? Alright, oh, I could actually bounce around the whole edge if I wanted to. I mean, I could have rolled around the whole edge, whatever you want to call it. You have... Well, you do have a metal shield, but that did not help you in the slightest. At least not at the beginning. Alright, I'm gonna swing around the backside. Take that. Plop. And I'm going to open this and let it burn in the cutscene. Woo! Another piece of hearts! So this was more of a side route than anything then, right? Uh, gotta time it this time because of that spinner. Oh, spike slider thingy. Giant blade trap. Whee! <laughs> uh, I'm going in the wrong direction. <laughs> it's just so awesome. All right, and do I did I get everything on that? No, I missed some stuff. All right, what did I miss? And where did I miss it? E. I cannot leave until I get everything. <laughs> Alright, so there's this here. 100% or bust, dang it. Um, underpath here. Uh, just loops around. That's not very helpful. I can now use the spinner to get across sand easily, so I don't have to worry about myself falling into any sort of trap like that. But... Where did I miss a treasure chest along? Oh, it's there. Ow! Wait, I well, actually, thank you! <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. But I welcome it. <laughs> That's one way to get across here. Otherwise, you can just go through that route there. Alright. So I can hop here. And hop here, I suppose. Oh wait, that, that other treasure chest is connected to the other path, isn't it? So... Boop! So I, I think I can just leave this path behind now. If I'm not mistaken. Let's go... Uh-oh. Running out of spin. Running out of spin. That's a problem. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh oh, jeez. Oh, this is going to take me back to the beginning of the room if I can't get out. Okay. Yeah, you, you have a limited amount of spin on your spinner, too, so that's something you gotta keep in mind. Alright. Oh! That was horrible timing! <laughs> of all the time- oops. Of all the times for me to pick to come up here, just mess me up. <laughs> now I take this route back around, because I believe this is the only route into there, because you have to get- yeah. You have to take that route and oop, no, 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 there we go. You have to take that route to get into this loop here to go around the world and up into this area. Now, this treasure chest. Oh, it's right here. Oh no, I shouldn't have spawned that other one, dang it. Now I'm gonna have two to deal with. I have a lot of pocket change again. And most of it's going to the preacher guy. <laughs> Just as soon as I get out of this dungeon. Oh, no, no, wait, no, not that. This. And then this. Please don't respawn on me. I can't kill you if you're respawning. No! That's what happens if you aren't fast enough. Oh, jeez, it missed both of them. No! <laughs> I was too slow on both of them, dang it. Spin. Whoa! That was awesome! <laughs> I should kill them both, I think. Okay. Good. Any more treasure chests? 
No? Oh wait, there's that one coming up. But that's the boss key. Okay, so then I I assume this is out. Whee! <laughs> and I'm gonna get off here because I noticed that there is a bridge. Oh. Ooh. All right, I gotta shift from side to side. Bring it on. Safety dance, yeah! And that's about it for the dungeon. I'm 15 minutes in this part, but I think I'm just gonna... Although... The boss plus the cutscene that'll follow will probably make the part really, really long. Hmm... I'll just keep going. Four parts for a dungeon seems sufficient enough. Alright. Now, remember this? This right here? Go in it. Spin! Spin like the wind by pressing the B button over and over again. And eventually, as you can see, it spins the gears underneath you, which will open up the route to the boss. Yeah! And, yeah, that's really pretty much it for this dungeon. Absolutely nothing missed whatsoever. And the rest of this right here is pretty much just a spinner obstacle course of sorts. Woo! So awesome! Your objective is to get to that center over there, but the easiest way to do it is to get up as high as you possibly can, and then... Wait. Did I do it a little too late? Yeah, I did it a little too late, didn't I? <gasps> <laughs> That's okay. If I go on this, it'll take me in circles, won't it? Yeah, it will. Uh, no, 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 I can't do that. I can't get up there that way. I mean, I'll, I'll run out of spin. Okay. Wah! That's fine. How high do I have to go up to be able to get in the center? I, I actually kind of forgot now. I know I have to get to the center, because there's another gear mechanism there. Over here, it pretty much traps me off. Oh, fairy. That's nice to know. I already got one, but it's still nice to know. Um... I bet I, I bet I have to use one of the, the these ledges to get across as far as I can. Ah, there we go. That makes sense. Spin, spin. I don't know why he, he spins like this, but that's the way he spins. That's how he rolls. Now, what does this do? It makes a huge track up here. And to get on this track, you can just go right here. Woo! You can also go straight from the center, I think, at this point. And that's all. Is there anything else that's important to show here? Like maybe another fairy for the viewers? Or is the fairy only hidden on that one spot? Looks like it's only hidden at that one spot, okay. But yeah, if you end up all the way back at uh, the base there, I believe you can just spin all the way from the bottom and come all the way up here. Alright! The boss, of which I actually know the name of, begins here. Yeah! Spooky. So you jump down here. Well, you walk down here or roll down here or whatever. Oh, jeez. Look who it is. Mm. 
And so it begins. The boss of Arbiter's Grounds. Known as Stallord. Okay, maybe I said that a little early, but still, it's Stallord. <laughs> Brought to life with Zant's dark magic. Infused within that sword, of course. This boss is pretty much entirely spinner based, too. It's very, very fun. Probably one of my favorite Zelda bosses in history. I don't, I don't know. I didn't really think about what is my favorite Zelda boss, but anyway, you'll notice that there's a tracker on the edge. All right, it starts. Oop, well that was kind of weird. How I got a track, the track there. The objective is to hit his vertebrae there with a spin attack by pressing B as you approach it. I kind of forgot to do that. <laughs> And those enemies that you see around him are, I believe, are known as stall troops. They, they're, they're actually kind of humorous in a way, in that they're more like pinball uh, bumpers more than anything, because of how bouncy they are as you're bouncing off of them. They're, they don't really attack you, but they do have a thing of that they try and protect stall lord here, but it's really, really easy to get through them. You just got to find a gap and aim for it. That's the boss. Or is it? Yeah, there's a little more to it, of course. Uh, what does it want me to do here? <laughs> Alright. I derped. You gotta bring up the central pillar. And this sets the stage for phase two, which is by far the more intense phase of it. It's still alive! Well, as alive as a skull head can be. Knocks you off to the bottom. But that's no problem, because you have the spinner! And you can use these tracks to get all the way back up to the top. But your objective is to hit him with the spinner while you pass by him. If at all possible. Come on, where are you? There you are. Come on. Boop! When it's going to shoot fire, transport, uh, move to the other side by pressing the B button. It, this uh, end phase here is pretty much completely controlled with the B button. <laughs> well, until you have to attack this. Yeah! Link can tell that the weakness is that sword, because that's the only thing that's keeping this skull alive. <laughs> Up we go! Another round! And now, there's blade traps around there, so you gotta be careful. They're moving at a, a slightly slower speed than you are, so you'll have time to transition back over to the right side if you see one coming like that. The, the middle route is the only, I mean, the, the pillar in the middle is the only thing that makes you go upwards. The, the tracks on the right side don't do squat, so it's kind of not beneficial to get on the right side since you'll uh, inevitably end up falling down more and more as you keep transitioning from left to right like that. But I suppose... Ah, doesn't really matter all that much, I guess. Uh, unless you get knocked down completely in the sequence resets. Dang it! <laughs> but that's all you can pretty much do is just keep going back up on this super high speed spinner path here. Never before have I seen a a Zelda battle, this is fast-paced, I have to say. <laughs> or at least it feels fast-paced. It's, it's still... Um, uh oh It's still just pressing a button to dodge an attack. So it's not that, you know, reaction-based or anything like that. Alright, get my range. And this'll pretty much be it. 
attack, attack, yeah! And now it's done for realsies. Woo! That was wicked awesome. <laughs> Grab that heart container. If you fall, you gotta use the tracks to get back up here. No big deal, though. I'm not gonna fall, though, obviously. <laughs> Whew. Sounds awesome. Yeah, baby! Another heart container. Bringing us up to 10, actually. Halfway to full health. Sorry about the little odd transition here. It's normally, I mean, it was nighttime here when I came through here before, but I had to stop recording for a second during that little transition, but whatever. So, now we gotta climb up to the top of Arbiter's, Arbiter's Grounds. Arbiter's. <laughs> And you meet up with this. This is known as the mirror chamber. It's not much of a chamber considering that it's outside, but whatever. <laughs> so there's a track. Oh, I forgot about this. There's a track over here. I guess it doesn't really matter whether it's night or day. <laughs> In fact, if anything, it's a little better during the, the daytime to be able to tackle these guys. Wow, five of them? It's a little bit easier to see. <laughs> I'm down. Can I get four at once? Yeah, baby! <laughs> Those enemies are just a joke nowadays. I can use the spinner. Boop. Go all the way up the snake. This is really cool. Look how fast we're spinning. <laughs> and it automatically plops you right in the center. Spin! Spin like you've never spin or spun before. <laughs> I gotta watch my English. Must improve. <laughs> Nah, my English is fine. I just put no thought into my words there whatsoever. Notice those symbols represent, or I mean, they look like something very, very familiar. Hmm. That doesn't look right. It's all shattered.
Thank you.